Now the 11 world-class women on the line. Kim Smith from New Zealand out of Providence College. This is her first chance on the Carlsbad course. But this, this race really is about two women, Tony. There's, all, there's two women that are far and ahead above as far as the class of this field, and that's oh, Chichi and Dibaba from Ethiopia. And it's really, it's gonna come down to those two. You look at, talk about world cross country champion, indoor world record holder, uh, well, the Olympic medalists. Ochichi was the silver medalist in Athens at 5,000. Turnesh Dababa took the bronze medal. The only woman that could give him a shout would be Mezulech Melkamu, 19 years old, from Ethiopia, who is the world junior champion at 5,000 meters. But already that gap is beginning to grow as we look at Medai Perez, the 2004 Boulder Boulder champion, who's preparing for a marathon, so bless your heart. This is gonna be tough going for somebody prepping for a marathon. That's what he is. A lot of pressure on Dathan as one of the up-and-coming Americans. Back to the women's competition. Isabella Ochichi from Kenya. Turnesh Dababa from Ethiopia. Kim Smith, New Zealand. And Mezulech Melkamu, also Ethiopia. What a gang of world class this is. And the, the key to the race for Ochichi is to try to put the pressure on Dababa because she knows Dababa's got this incredible finishing speed. We saw that at the indoor championships. Incredible finish, so she's got to put the pressure on early and keep the pressure on, especially in that second mile when you make the turn and start going up against the wind, start going uphill. But she knows she can do it because she did beat her in the Olympics in Athens. At this distance, run and train. Back to the women's race. Now Turanesh Dababa into the lead, making the turn. Steve, they went through mile one at 447, right at world record pace. But they make the turn at six minutes and 10 seconds into the competition. And the world record at the turn was 601. It's going to be a little bit tough for him today because they, there is the wind. This race is run at 1210 in the afternoon. The wind picks up a little bit off the ocean. It's got a little bit of a headwind and they're going uphill. So this mile right here is going to tell the tale of whether the record is going to go down today or not. Does not look clean and efficient like these women. He just gets the job done. But Ochichi has not been able to not only break Turanesh Dababa, she hasn't been able to get rid of Melkamu, the 19-year-old Ethiopian in third. But I was in Boston at the end of January for the Reebok Indoor Games. And in that 5,000 in front of rapid Ethiopian fans, young Turanesh Dababa just destroyed the Indoor 5,000 world record. And riding the wave of enthusiasm, she ran her final K in 2.47. The wings on her feet that day. Plenty left in that tank. You know, something has to be said for the Ethiopian fans because they know that... Six, two and a half and about 140 some pounds. Not the traditional body for a 5,000 meter man in this land. Nope, sure isn't. And now the women have made their final turn. The world record at the final turn is 12.06. They're 10 seconds behind at this point. You know, Isabella Ochichi was asked by the elite athlete coordinator, Mike Long, what are the chances for a world record? And she said, it depends on if I have any help. And now for the first time, Turanesh has gone to the front, but this is to try to win this run, and they appreciate a great show. And they also drive these athletes to phenomenal times, and now we come down to the final kick on the women's race. The Olympic silver medalist in blue, the Olympic bronze medalist in black, and they approach the final turn, four seconds off world record pace. Dababa just kicked it into another gear as she made that turn. Look at her arms, look at her go. She just just piling it on. This is what she's known for. We saw it in Boston for the indoor 5,000 meter record. She just waits and then when she unleashes it, it's cracked the whip. And she is just flying. Oh, she, she left in her dust. She could see the clock at this point. She knows that she's close to that world record. She has put another gear on. I thought she had it all in. She is flying to Baba. 14, 48, 49, 50. I think it's 50, and in road racing, they round up. Oh, goodness. Unbelievable. I thought at the top of the hill, there's no way she was gonna get that record, but she just blistered that last 200. She ran the last 200 faster than the men ran it. You know, Mezulech Melkamu was in third place, 
And she's a thrasher, thrashing her way to the line. And just over 15-16, Kim Smith from New Zealand coming home at fourth. And as you, you pegged it, Steve, it really was a two-woman race. I mean, they're just, maybe there's Paula Radcliffe's in that league. Meseret Defar is in that league, and that's about it. Don't forget one-time world record holder, Dina Castor. Dina, absolutely. Former Carlsbad champion and record setter. As we look at our scoreboard, Dina was actually at the Shamrock Shuffle 8K in Chicago today. We wish her the best of luck. You know, Tony, I think Tababa could have gotten... But there's no denying the special excitement that is the Carlsbad 5000, one of the truly great running events in the world. For Steve Scott, I'm Tony Revis. We'll see you next time out on the road.